Hey, welcome back. Today we're gonna go back in time in 2007. I'm gonna test this ATI Radeon HD 2600 XT and I'm gonna see how it's running. It's from Dell. It's got um, 256 megabytes of VRAM GDDR4 with 128 bits bus width on DirectX 10 with 800 megahertz on the core and 1100 megahertz on the memory. The driver for this video card is from 2010, but um, wait. I have no shaders. Hmm. We're gonna use this i7 4, 4 gen because it's got Windows 7 and it apparently likes old video cards. So, fantastic. Um, let's jump in and find some online games. Online, 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 online games. Online games. Okay, let's test GTA 5. I, if it's working, I will be shocked. I don't care. It's like, uh, I just wanted to enter the game. If it's entering the game, then I will be surprised. Though, I do have a question. Why it says 2,800 uh, megabytes? It's only got 200 megabytes of memory. This is weird. I'm thinking it's using some cache on the hard drive or something or on the memory. Who knows? Maybe it's using the system memory. As a Low details with 800 by 600. I hope this video card can work. Seriously, this is weird. This is so weird. You remember when you put the i7 930 with an RTX video card and I got the same thing at 30 FPS. Shut the front door and now I have an HD 2600. What the heck? So half render scale with 720p, yeah? All right, can actually see the CPU and the GPU. So the GPU is mega loaded, yeah? Oh my God, it feels such a potato resolution. PlayStation 2 intensified, seriously. Wish I had uh, the amount of memory that is allocated from 200 megabytes, but it doesn't, it doesn't show me, you know? That show me that I forgot to max out the fan on. All right, so I forgot to put the fan on and, and I was seeing that it was overheating, you know, the GPU fan power. Now it's on 100%. It's a bit squeaky, you know, but uh, it's gonna keep the GPU a little uh, colder, you know. So in this case, the CPU, it's on 20%. And by the way, those black lines, you know, the outline, yeah, it's real. I'm not gonna take it out because it shows me what you're going to get if you're uh, playing a video card like this, you know? But uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's averaging 30 FPS with nine on minimal. And uh, yeah, the core is freaking maxed out. This is not a good day. This is not a good car for raining, for rain driving. But nevertheless, I'm gonna take it to, to the city and see how we're doing because uh, I, I really, I really hate those frame times that is given this, this configuration, you know? So there's no complaint about it, you know? I know it's horrible. I just wanted to see <laughs> as a comparison with how, how it's performing, you know? But uh, I, I do realize now how, how much uh, I can appreciate this i7, comparing it to that i7-930. Uh, I look at the CPU load here and uh, it's it's kind of go kind of gold comparing it to that uh, 1366. But nevertheless, uh, you know what? Uh, it, 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 this is not a benchmark without CSGO. So I'm putting on uh, putting the graphics on 4x3 with 1024. I'm going to see how it's running. 50 60 FPS. Screw you, boy. I'm playing CSGO with this video card. Two FPS on average. Oh, yes, give me more. One better minimal so in this one. <laughs> oh, that was cool. My kind of gun for 60 FPS. Yes, oh my god, he's dropping so low. <laughs> In some occasion, I, I, I can barely move. Oh. They're, they, they, they're, everybody's good here, you know? Everybody's got professional GPUs here. Look at them. I bet they are driving the RX uh, uh, 7000 series, the new GPU, yeah?
<laughs> okay, let's try Paladins and see how the game is running on 1080p with 50% render scale. Jump in and see how we are doing. What do you think about the performance? I'm actually surprised how it's working with uh, 1080p on 50% render scale. This is an old video very old video card and having 100 fps as a as a render uh, how should i say as a minimal as an average quite impressive seriously but i'm actually surprised it stays 90 percent load on the core you know like 80 70 wish i had more uh, uh, more saying with the vram Regen, regen. Good frame time, though. Double kill. You plonkers. Still on the good average? Yes, 150. Minimized 30. I mean, 29 FPS is not ideal, you know, but uh, it does the job, you know? It's 51 on 1%. What a nice performance. World of Tanks. You know, because uh, of the DirectX support, apparently we can actually put it on uh, low details, actually minimal. We can go on minimals and uh, I think there is a high chance we can actually play the game. I don't know what you're thinking about this, but it gives me such a big satisfaction when, when I'm seeing old hardware like this and I can play games online. It's, it's just a big a big happiness in me seriously the, i don't know how to explain it every single time i'm, I'm finding a hardware like this you know and i'm playing uh, online or finding some older games it's just that great satisfaction it's just so freaking awesome to, to to see it you know it's just i don't know how i don't know how to express this happiness you know it's just something old and uh, uh, nostalgia combined together and it still works i don't have to do nothing you know it's just something like uh, i used to do this you know and uh, i still have it and it triggers me in in back of my head like having this you know having this video card <laughs> hd 2600 oh come on oh this is so cool Seriously, this is so cool. I'm actually curious how this video card uh, is holding with that memory because uh, it's only got 256 megabytes of memory and the core is 99% loaded. I mean, it's not rocket science that uh, this video card is bananas, you know? When I go in the transition with, the, with sniping and uh, outside, it lags, it drops really low, you know, on the FPS. That's the only thing I notice and uh, the temperature in the game it's it's how should i say the temperature on the video card is not that bad you know the game doesn't hit the video card too much you know it keeps it i mean it's, it's on 100 percent you know uh, the fan but uh, it keeps the gpu a bit cool you know that small fan it's a small fan you know it's a small high pitch fan you know those slim units and slim video cards and they, every single time you hear uh, high pitch video card like this is I, I remember ah it's a one unit video card you know it's this is how it, they are you know those slimy video cards <laughs> with one unit <laughs> i think definitely we need to test uh, team fortress yeah what do you think team fortress but what the fuck resolution is this seriously workshop no can we play on 1080 i'm curious so if i go on advanced settings low 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 simple simple enable multi-core motion blur disable direct extend with the card so let theoretically needs to to work oh yeah definitely okay so i'm gonna go heavy and we're gonna go and see how many fps we get look at this 90 fps on average uh, but the minimal is like 20 30 you know 38 uh, on one percent and 20 on minimal i'll take it you know with the fully loaded core but uh, yeah i wish the cpu could help a little you know every every little help it's welcome no up a mini mogasit look at it 
it doesn't even overheat the video card so it stays on 57 degrees but it's mega loud 80 fps on average 24 on minimal 1% uh, 31 well considering considering uh, how much uh, uh, fps i have on average in this game and how old is uh, this video card and how old is this i think it's it's well deserved each other for it's a well deserved game no oh, exactly what the slap the fact that i managed to play a couple of games with this video card online shows that um, anything is possible one two whenever i play some games that uh, actually works on an old hardware it just triggers the nostalgia in me you know it makes me feel in happy in a different way it feels like i'm going back in time seriously and it's a, there is no other explanation when it comes to um i shall say um show you showing you some old hardware you know I, I show you because there is something that i like you know when it's with with video cards like this you know that's it hd 2600 xt got like really really cheap you know like a, a couple of pounds i mean it feels good to see this video card still on and outputting display and playing games